thanks for joining. My name's Angela, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a DIY on how to make earring displays or jewelry displays from really cheap items that I've purchased. I'll tell you where to get them, and I'll walk you through it on how to make them. Super simple stuff. Going to have a lot of fun today. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are in my art studio, and... I'm going to show you what I bought and where I got them. I'm so excited. I found this TikTok and now I'm going to share the awesome stuff with you. So they're like these little boxes. They're not any ordinary box. In the back of them, they have legs. Oh, legs. I bought two of those. In case you're wondering where I bought these, I got them at Target for $5 a piece. And then you take that off and you have these right here. All right. You're gonna take them and you're just gonna twist them. This is uh, gonna be such a cute little display for my jewelry table. It won't have a booth because it's indoor. I've never actually done an indoor festival so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it but how bad can it be right okay make sure you don't get it in there crooked because it'll strip it and then it won't fit right all right well you gotta tighten it pretty tight so this is what we got this cute little I'm probably gonna buy some more if they still have them because they look like they had quite a few, but I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. If you need to, you can add hot glue and hot glue them together. Somebody on TikTok had said that they like getting these little hooks called uh, Crazy Tacks, which you can get on Amazon. I was at the Dollar Tree and I found these cute little pastel pens. I would like hooks on them. Now what I'm going to attempt is to take some polymer clay, get you some translucent clay or whatever colors of clay you want. I'm going to use the translucent just because I don't want to draw attention away from my earrings, earring cards, keychains, whatever it is I'm going to hang from this. Translucent's the way I'm going to go. Make a roll and you want to flatten the bottom and then you're going to take your push pin and you're going to push into that. Do know that polymer clay likes to shrink. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. Keep pushing, a little bit bigger, there we go. And then I'm just gonna figure out like how big I want it. I don't want it too big. And I'm gonna put this back on here just to see. Oh yeah, that's good, that's good. And then finish it off with a little hook. So like the longer you make it, the better it is because you can hang more things on it. So this is what uh, I'm gonna have it look like. I'll carefully take the push pan off and bake these for 275 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, now the next step is to glue these onto here. So you're gonna add a little bit of glue. And any excess, just wipe it off. Paper towel, set it aside. Next, same, down there. Oh yeah, that one fit on there just perfect. Right down in there. Okay, and then there you have it. You have your own personal handmade hooks for your vending. So this is what it looks like when it's done. You just push the pins in. The extra step is these all stick out. So you don't want your customers getting poked by them. Cut off at least that much with the wire cutters. You can either take them in and out, which causes them to be loose, or you can super glue them in. You can set these up however you like. I'm not sure if I just want to leave them like that or maybe put like some sand or something like that to stand them straight up and down. 
We'll see. I'm going to figure it out. But so far, this looks so super cute. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more art-related content. Until next time, see you later.